Peace reflections. Get that right, Eliana. Prison, not police station. And every Tuesday, I go to see him. I only seen him twice since he's been in there. Um, and that's only on Tuesdays for 30 minutes. So I have seen Chief two times since uh, since all of this transpired. The first time I talked to him, I was telling him like everything that was going on, um, some of the things that we need to do to get him released and everything like that. Had to wait all the way until next week for another Tuesday to see him again and have a meeting with him again. So much is going on. He doesn't really know everything that, that's going on out here and what's transpiring out here because the police station doesn't want him to have contact with anybody. He can't make phone calls. He can only receive food and one visit a week from anyone. He, he wants to for 30 minutes for one week. So his contact is like very limited at this point. And um, the last time I seen him, which was on Tuesday, um, I was telling him there were a very, very high chance of us actually getting him out. And I can't run a story by y'all. Um, it was a very high chance of us getting him out that day and the next and the next day after that. So what had happened was uh, I seen him, I seen Chief, and... I was telling him, look, we got the lawyer, we got the judge, we got everything that we... Um, I'm guessing that is the day that they were all in the van acting real weird and not saying anything with those smug looks on their face like they were going to prove and show something. They probably got there and they were denied. Chief ain't getting out. I'm sure that's the day they're talking about. We need right now so that we can um, put in place a demand for your release. And I was telling him everything that was transpiring and stuff like that. And he's like, you know, everything is getting even more intense because of the fact that um, they're holding him illegally and they're not letting him go. Like, they're not letting him go. And um, Nicaragua has its own uh, situation when it comes to that. So, yeah, they won't give us any information on why they're holding him. They won't give us any information on a case if it is a case on them they won't give us information on uh if he's been investigated or if they're well there's a couple of reasons one she is not his wife um another is his case is classified so even being his baby mama she can't find out any information and i'm not even sure if she was married to him if she could get any information without a lawyer. There's an investigation. They don't want to talk to us completely. They don't want to talk to us. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, well, we're his immediate family. Like, we, we are with him. You know, we're up here every single day. I have his child. Why wouldn't you want to talk to us? Especially if you're insinuating or may think that we're being done something or, you know, we're being done something by him. And so these are my thoughts that's going through my head. And they're like, not, they're not. 
not taking any outside information like you know so um it's a very difficult and sticky situation when it comes to uh, our situation right now so uh, he just told me that day he told me to do anything that I can so that um we can see him release this is why we came up with the petition um we have other uh, social medias like all of the big social medias like all the news and news articles and stuff like that we're going to be hitting up so that we can put our story online so that we can tell everybody like there's this new thing called uh what is it called when the um cyber bullying it's called um gangster gang stalking, gang, gang stalking. it's this new thing going around called gang stalking and it's uh another form of it's cyber bullying it's just in another form and what these people do online is that they gang up in these groups and they stalk the only problem with that velvet is he is not in prison because of gang stalking or trolls. He is in prison because of what they found on those computers and phones. Nicaragua is now working with Central America. America is now in, the U.S. is now involved in this. So this has nothing to do with trolls or gang stalking now. Come on. You're going to have to do better than that if you're going to get on here and talk. He is in there for crimes against children. People, especially people of like high figures and stuff like that. Um, and they cyber bully them. They make up lies about them. They say all of this stuff and they blasphemy, you know, upon whatever it is that they're doing. And they say all of these lies and stuff like that. So... Uh, it's called gang stalking, and that's exactly what's happening. Cyberbullying. So, did she say blasphemy? <laughs> she needs to look up that word, because <laughs> that's not what that means, honey. Uh, we're willing to tell our story. We're willing to get in touch with BBC, CNN, um, news, Fox News, any news, any any media that's like really big to tell our story. Because at the end of the day, he's in a Nicaraguan jail for no reason. And so this is this was the last conversation on Tuesday that me and him talked about. And of course, he's like telling he wants me to tell y'all that he loves y'all, that he's thankful for all the support out there that that we have been getting from all of the people who's donating to us, all the people who's signing the petition, all the people who support combination, because at the end of the day, this is what we came here to do. The same energy that these trolls are putting out to get him locked up or is the same energy we need to have to get him out. And that's the only way that it's going to be done. You see what I'm saying? It's bigger than money. Money is just energy. Money is a catalyst to get us from point A to point B. And if you have money and whatever you do with it will show who... Then Eliana, go out, get a job, work for it, save it, and get your man. We're not responsible for him. Babylon is not responsible for him. Remember how soon we forget. Who you are, it will show what type of heart that you have. You see what I'm saying? So you can have all the money in the world and do the wrong thing with it. And you can have all the money in the world and give it away because you know that other people need it just as much as you do. And deeper than that is that it's your exchange of energy and what you have to offer the world. You know, money is just a, a ticket. It's just a, a false imagery. It's a piece of paper. It's an illusion. But it act the actual meaning of money is energy. And what you do with your energy says everything about who you are. So we want to thank you. And Chief thanks everybody out there who's supporting him, who's sending their energy to get us where we need to be to see him free because at the end of the day you know he's given us a lot of energy he didn't necessarily give us money he gave us his energy his time his his wealth and knowledge you see what i'm saying he gave us that no he didn't give you money that's for damn sure but he sure did take it didn't he eliana he gave us his heart and so what we do with him now says everything about who we are. So at the end of the day, we want to thank everybody. We want to thank all of our supporters. You know, the, the trolls, there, there's not there's not more haters than there are people who love us. Period, point blank. There are more people who love us than who hate us. And it's just a select few who hate us and that have, uh, who have this false sense of power to think that they can do what they're doing. But at the end of the day, once, you, once all of the smoke clears and everything's settles and everything is calmed down when the storm passes the truth will remain in the end and you're going to fade away and you're going to actually be con you're going to condemn yourself
yourself for doing what it is that you're doing. So at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. You know, y'all, but we're not going to allow you to keep sitting here talking about us, making up lies about us, and think that we're going to be silent about it. No, we wake up every fucking day just to put our lives online so that you, so we can teach you and show you that there's a better way to live. There's nothing wrong that we're doing. There's nothing wrong that she did. Any video that you may have misinterpreted from your fucked up perception and the way that you want to look at life, that you watch of Chief has everything to do with how you're thinking and not what's the actuality of the situation. We've got online, Chief has got online to explain himself in multiple scenarios with, in any type of video that anybody have, have felt have felt that they disagree with or that they didn't understand. But if you don't want to understand, then that is, that is your way of life. Yeah, you're right, Eliana. I do not want to understand a pedophile. Never had a want to do that. So, yeah, you're right. That is the way that you want to live. So at the end of the day, you go your separate way. You don't have to sit online and bully us. You don't have to sit online and stalk us just to find something, just to make our lives what you think it is. So... With, all, with, with everything that's going on, that's transpiring and everything, it's just to show us who's weak and who's real. At the end of the day, it's just collecting the elite and convicting the weak at this point. And we're coming close because Chief is in a situation that he's in right now. It's coming closer to the end where, where your minds, your hearts are being... Collecting the weak and evicting the weak is what he's done to all of these poor souls. Every one of them have some sort of issue. Um, I don't know if you all saw, um, I didn't get a chance to upload it, the video that Mr. Marquez done with uh, Daylin's mother, who is a, 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 God, what is his name? Not Caliber. Nubian. Nubian. Um, Mr. Marquez and Nubian mom, they went live together, and, um, it's a pretty touching live, and if you haven't got a chance to see it, go to Jazzy G. Lovely, or, um, go to, uh, Angela Dominique, she has it. It's, it's really touching. Your callus is being more, you're locking your DNA into what you are going to live out your next lifetime. You're creating your next lifetime. And we're just here to, to help you out of that paradigm, to help you into a more righteous way of living, into a more righteous way of thinking so that you don't create that reality for yourself when you are transitioning from this lifetime to the next. So, um, prior to having that meeting, um, we had already, prior to having that meeting with Chief, we had already had met up with our lawyer that same day, that Tuesday, which was uh, two days ago, that Tuesday, we had um, held a meeting um, with our lawyer, and our lawyer was saying, okay, we got a judge, and we have to go up to the police station, and y'all can meet, the family, y'all can meet us there, and we will ask and demand, not even ask, but we were demanding from the Supreme Court here in Nicaragua for his release. Now, even if he had a trial date, even if he was to walk in a courtroom and the judge, you know, the judge would say the same thing. The only difference between the tactic or the strategy we chose to do. Here, welcome back. I'm going to just pin out a comment again. Um, it was paused, so now we're back in. Now we're back in. So like I was saying... Nicaragua is denying their own judicial system. They are making their own laws and they are going against their own laws. And that's not good because now you have a, um, you, now you have to. Nicaragua, Nicaragua is on its way to being a dictatorship. So they can actually do, the president of Nicaragua can actually do whatever he wants to do. So at the end of the day, they went to the wrong country. We are not 
um, the U.S. and Nicaragua are not on good terms with each other. Um, I've done a little bit of research and uh, I'll be breaking that down in another video to further explain why um, Eligio Bishop may not ever get out or if he does it could be a very long time. He's in a situation where he's in a foreign country as an American citizen who cannot receive help from the U.S. Embassy the way that he should be because of the political turmoil between Nicaragua and America. So now we have to take another route and the, the, the other route is to push the U.S. to help us because he's a Nicaragua citizen. He's a Nicaragua I mean, he's a, a, a U.S. citizen. He's not a Nicaragua citizen. So, a little bit more um, juice to the story is the fact that the reason why it took us so long to give the update is because we were so back and forth and I wanted to give everybody very clear, definite points of what it is that we're going through and what it is that we're doing. Because if I would have gave you the update two days ago, you know, it could have confused a lot. So this is what happened from that since the time I posted that um, meme up until now. First, our lawyer, we got, we have, we have two Nicaraguan lawyers. So once we got our lawyer, we sent all of our information. We told him everything. We showed him our life. We showed him the cyberbullying. We showed him everything. On top of that, um, he did his own research as far as uh, the laws that have been infringed upon um, Chief and, and everything that Chief is going through and the, um, the illegal activity that's going on on the behalf of the Nicaraguan National Police. All of this has been stated. All of this has been notarized by our lawyer and has been certified by the Supreme Court court judge here in Nicaragua. Um, now we have to take the action to actually, um, the first judge that we got actually deny our case. Um, first, first off, I want to tell y'all the situation politically here that we're in in Nicaragua. We know, as citizens of countries, we know that every country has um, its own set of political issues or political standpoints when it comes to being a democracy, Republican, a Democratic, uh, whatever whatever it is that you are, dictatorship, whatever it is that, that you, whatever a country operates under. Nicaragua here is under political turmoil with America. This is not to say that we don't like Nicaragua or anything like that because we actually came to Nicaragua. We we was like, oh, Nicaragua is very, very beautiful. We, um, we want to enjoy this place. We want to see the fruit just like we have done with every other. Um... Oh, is that why you went? Because it's beautiful and you want to see the fruit. Well, now, how did that work out for you, Velvet? Eligio and the rest of you dummies. How'd that work out? Because you wanted to see some fruit that you can see here in America. But I digress. Let's get it. Central America country that we've passed through. We passed through all of the all of the um all of the countries here in, in Central America, except for a few, which we were actually going to head that way uh, right before Chief was um detained. So uh, we came to Nicaragua at first and we, we didn't know anything about the political standpoint between them and America. We you know we don't we're not thinking about political issues because we're not here for political issues. We're here to uh, proclaim you may not be there for political issues, but the political issues are there. And once you go to a country acting out, talking out against them, committing crimes, now guess what? You are a political issue. So you should have looked into this a little bit more, but you know what? It all happened for a reason. Name the message, you know, live our lives and live our lives as we see fit and do what it is that we need to do. Live in tune with nature and enjoy the fruit and enjoy the fresh air and enjoy everything that we came here to enjoy. And this is what, this is the journey that we're on in our life. So, after some time had went by, of course we're getting trolled online. Like, we're getting cyberbully online by all these people you see. They're just cyberbullying the shit out of us. And they're creating lies and they're taking our videos, clips of three hour long videos, uh, hour long videos, and creating it and depicting 
expecting it to be what they think it is by twisting the words around and, and switching and twisting the content of the video. Now, if anybody ever go back to those original videos that they clipped those clips from the... Not true. Not true at all. Because if you go back and look at any of these channel holders pages on YouTube, some of these videos are up to two hours long because if you remember Elysio he would go live for hours check out the tea they didn't clip up nothing I haven't clipped up nothing that's not true but that's all they had to cling on right now trolls oh it's the trolls or they're trying to take the black man down Put, they're bullying us. They really have to come to terms with that is not what landed him in jail. It was by his own words, his own actions, on his own channel. Go look at Carbonation TV. The last video they posted was Eligio talking about why it was good for a child to be sexually molested. This was just a few days ago. Okay, I didn't post that. The T didn't post it. Jazzy, Young Pharaoh, Ashe Divine, none of those channels posted that. They did. Anyway, let's get it. You will watch the whole video and you will see what Chief is talking about. You will see what Elio Bishop is, is saying in the video. So, I encourage everybody to go to Carbonation. If you don't know about us, you should go to Carbonation TV on YouTube so that you can get a very clear, definite um, idea of what we are, who we are, and why we're doing what we're doing. This is not to go against anything or anybody. We just feel that there is a natural way to live life, and this is how we want to live our lives. Who are you or anybody else to take that away from us? We don't harm anything. We don't do anything to nobody. We don't talk bad about anybody. We don't make lies up on anybody. We just tell the truth. We speak out. To live their life natural. But yet, I know so many people that live here in America where my ancestors originated from. And they are still able to live a natural life. So, I don't understand their thinking on going to other countries to do so when it can be done here. I've seen it be done. I'm watching it be done now. It is, and we keep it moving, and we document our life. So this has, this is, this has been what has happened to us on our journey. Is the cyberbullying? Everybody cyberbullies us. They make certain things up about us. They say certain things about us, and lies. And recently, they have recently the trolls have went to a whole nother extent to call a U.S. the U.S. embassy wherever we are. They would call the U.S. embassy wherever we are and tell the U.S. embassy that all of these lies and make up this thing about us. And the U.S. Embassy, of course, is like, oh, damn. They will even go so far to actually call in the police, the national police of the country that we're in, to tell us what it is, or I mean, to tell them what it is that they think that we're doing and tell them all of the lies and all of the blasphemy that they've put out against us. So what you have is when you call these people, you call it when those cyber bullies call the police. Velvet seems to forget her conversation with her father. The one where she told her father all the horrible things that Elysio was doing. She seems to forget that. Unreal. Where we are, of course, they don't want any criminal activity in their uh, country, so they're going to investigate whatever it is. The first time this happened to us was in Mexico, Palenque, Mexico. And, you know, a lot of stuff was happening, and, and, and um, that was actually um, my behavior and the things that I did in, in Palenque, Mexico, um, gave the trolls, it gave um, these cyber bullies ammunition to use against us to depict our lives in, a, in such a way that they could use it against us. So, you know, me, me and um, my husband, Leo, we went through our, um, our situation, like our relationship and stuff like that, and we documented our relationship online. So people actually got to see themselves in a relationship through us. There are many relationships.
relationships out there that have the same um, disagreements that me and him may have had at one point in time, which is completely blown over and completely looked in the past and 